What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got another ballistic gel test. Stay tuned. Alright, so today we're doing we're gonna start at 40. Our ballistic gel tests are gonna go out to 60, 70, 80 yards. We're not sure yet, but we're gonna we're gonna really test this TSS in the gel. So we figure we're gonna start at 40, work our way back, and keep it going. So as we're gonna do a lot of gel tests with steel, bismuth, lead, TSS, all that good stuff, magnum blend, all that. But today we're breaking out the 12 gauge. We're shooting the private label, small batch. This is a two and a quarter ounce payload of eight, nine, and tens in 12 gauge. It's a three inch cartridge. We're gonna be shooting it out of my Franke Affinity 3 with a 665 Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. We have 20% FBI grade ballistic shell down there. One side's already shot, we flipped it. We're gonna shoot that side of it, and we're gonna see how the eight, nine, and tens differ at 40 yards. And like I said, we're gonna keep going back. Eventually, we're gonna shoot those three and a half tens. We're gonna push those. It's gonna suck taking all those pellets out of the gel, but I can already see it now. That's a couple hours worth of work. But let's just get right to it. We got the gel in a fancy setup down there, a nice lawn chair, propped up so it's level. We're gonna shoot it. We'll see how it looks. I'm curious to see the difference in penetrations between the eight, nine, and tens. I think the eights are gonna, well, of course, I don't know. I don't know if the tens get deeper because it's less surface know. footage. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know either. We'll all be surprised. Yeah. We're not really sure how the difference is gonna lay in the shot size. So there's only one way to test it, and that's the right way in a ballistic shell. So let's get one of these out. And let's see what happens. Okay, guys. So once again, 12 gauge, three inch shell, two and a quarter ounce payload of eight, nine, and tens out of the Franke Affinity Three, 665 Code Black Turkey from Pattern Master, 40 yards in the 20% FBI grade ballistic shell. I'm really curious to see how the penetration difference is amongst the shot sizes. I almost think the tens might get a little more because they have less surface area than the nines and the eights, but only one way to find out. Let's shoot that gel. I tell you, it hits them hard. That's a lot of impact though. It knocked that block back, almost knocked the chair over. Because it's gonna hit that whole thing at 40. Well, as you can tell, that gel block weighs about 17 pounds. That knocked that gel block back, so I'm going to go latch onto it, we'll get it on the table, and we'll see how the shot sizes fare in that gel. That put a lot of shot in that gel at 40 yards. And from what we've seen, the eight, the size 8 made it the furthest, but overall they're all about even at 40 yards. Okay, so you can see we did have some shot, there's 8s and 9s. And a couple tens that made it seven inches in the gel. Yep, seven is the furthest. There's a couple that's six and a half, but the main mass, which is a, a big blend of eights, nines, and tens, they're all about the same. That made it, I would say, center mass is three and a half inches in the gel at 40 yards. That's crazy though. There is so many, so many pellets right there i mean that would blow through a turkey no problem at 40 yards all you need in this gel is an inch of penetration to kill turkeys if you get past that it's blowing through them no problem this like i said this is 17 pounds this is extremely dense we weren't sure if the eights nines or tens if there would be a big difference in penetration but what we're seeing is eights got the furthest and the nine and tens are all about the same, right around three and a half, four inches. So looking up on top of the block, the bulk of the tens is about three and a quarter. The bulk of the nines is about four inches. And then the eights are just mixed in throughout. I mean, there's more penetration in the eights than there is the nines or the tens. The tens actually got the least amount of penetration, but 
keep in mind, all you need to kill a turkey in gel is an inch. And at 40, even the tens are, the center mass is three and a quarter. There is some shot that made it about five inches in the ten shot. That's insane though, the amount of pellets that are in this block right here. So as you can see, I flipped the block. As you can see, the tens are right here, followed by the nines and then the eights. The eights got the most, nines are right behind them and tens are just a touch behind. So you're not really losing penetration really amongst them. Now keep in mind, there was two or three pellets that are eights that got seven and there's a couple of nines and tens that got seven as well. The center mass of penetration is right here as you can see. So you got no problem. You're blowing through turkeys at 40 yards all day long. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be testing a lot of different shot sizes, a lot of different ranges. We wanted to start at 40 and work our way back because we weren't sure how the eight, nine, and 10 blend would do in the gel. Seeing it now, the eights get more penetration on average than the nines and tens. Nines is second, tens is last. But guys, to get three and a quarter with the tens, four inches with the nines, and about five, five and a quarter with the, with the eights, I mean, you got no problem pushing that. We will be testing these further, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards. We're gonna do a lot of ballistic shell testing. I'm curious to see how this blend, how the, the penetration differs at say 60 yards. But we wanted to start here and then work our way back, like I said. But guys, that's, that's insane, seeing that much shot at 40 yards in a six by six block. I mean, that's not a lot of area and you have a ton of shot in there and it is blowing through that turkey no problem at all. Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on any of our future pattern tests or penetration tests in the ballistic shell. We're gonna do a lot of them, especially those three and a half tens. We're gonna push those though. So that's probably 60, 70 yards. We'll see how it does. But wanted to start with the eight, nine, 10 blend and work our way from there. We're gonna do a lot. We're gonna put TSS and lead, all the good stuff. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If this is your first video with us, welcome. This is Blue Collar Outdoors, this is what we do. Performance talks and the rest walks, as Hawk once said. I don't know about wise man, but Hawk once said. We'll say that. No bullshit on this channel, just honest testing. And guys, I gotta say that load is absolutely lethal at 40, but we will see at 50, 60, etc. We're gonna do a lot of testing. I can't wait to get to it, but we got more to film today and we got birds to roost tonight. So this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always guys, catch you on the next one.